go change into some shitty clothes and we are going to go over the car, make sure everything's good, check fluids, check the valves, um, and just make sure she's ready for no coast. All right, let's see if they're loose. I would have an issue with with the very last rocker arm on the driver's side that keeps coming loose, and I don't know why. Everything feels great, but I guarantee that back left there is gonna be loose because you can hear it um, coming through the firewall when you're driving. And it develops after about, I don't know, a whole day of driving. So it's not that bad, I don't know if the bolt is stretched or if the threads are messed the threads look to look fine but it just keeps coming loose and i'm i don't want to torque it down any harder uh, because it is an aluminum head so we will check the other side and see if we have any problems and if so hopefully we can figure out a new solution No, it feels good. No, nope. feels good. So all the valves were all right. They're, they're torqued down still. Um, there's a little bit of a lifter tick, but I think that's just because it's a tin can with an LS in it. So we're just gonna live with it. The oil looks good. There's no shavings. There's nothing wrong with the push rods. Everything looks like it's mating very well since they are newer push rods from Texas Speed. But everything seems to be good. So we're gonna move on to another huge issue this car has been having, um, oiling. So every time i take it to the track we almost burn it down to the ground um, due to oil coming out of different orifices so we're looking at dipsticks i had the original dipstick from the truck and then i had a, the second dipstick from the sticky pan the conversion oil pan was leaking as well and then the cap was leaking the actual fill cap and it would all get oil on the headers to try and burn things down so we are putting on a proper breather since it just kind of comes out the bottom of the car right now because I didn't have one so these are actually custom made I got it off Facebook marketplace from a guy here in town they didn't fit his car um, I mean they're universal so I don't know what he was expecting to do but we're gonna make it fit and we're gonna get this plumbed in so that we don't burn the car down <laughs> every time we go to the track <laughs> couple different options I could probably go over here I got one breather here that's just sitting here. Got a pair of Shelby's. Get this thing off. And you got the other breather over here. We can undo these. I'll still need to get a catch can for the uh, radiator, um, which I'm not too concerned about, but we will need to do that. Maybe it wants to be over here. So, all oh, temporarily. No. What do we want to do? We will. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just like where you mount things is not here anymore. Do you kind of like it right here? And the hood would close too. Got a bolt. Get this thing down here. Got it lined up. It'll, just have, it'll only have one bolt in it for now, but we will get a little bracket built. Then we'll build a little L bracket that sits in here and should be good. Won't be today because I, I don't think I have the aluminum, but so this tank has a three quarter inch barb, um, which is huge. Uh, it's good for some motors that have that kind of uh, nipples on the valve covers, but I have factory valve covers that have three eighths inch lines. I'm probably going to upgrade the valve covers to a larger breather hose, um, probably some Texas speed covers. So for now, I am just gonna use this plastic T that I found. Um, I'm gonna wrap it in tape and stick it inside the nipple itself. Don't lie to me, I know you've done it. 
and it's gonna be fine. It's just gonna have to get through a couple of days of racing. Hopefully there's not too much pressure that I'll try and pop it off. It shouldn't. This thing looks like it breathes pretty well. <sighs> yeah, I, I don't think we'll have any issues. Um, but it's, I'm interested to see how much blow-by we, we have um, and how much oil accumulates inside of this uh, cash can. Nice. All right, something happened with my audio um, when I was in the shop, but we got the catch can installed. I checked the oil, I checked the diff fluid, checked the transmission. There's a little leak on the pan, but it's not really a big deal, so. Um, I'm just gonna clean it up and it drips. It's very minor, so I didn't wanna pull the pan off the car and, and do any of that before no coast. So back in my house, we've got the truck packed up. I got the mini bike, got the generator, tires, canopy, gas, compressor, tools. Um, I need to go get food, pack up some beers, but we got the camper, got the, the little Yamaha golf cart. I don't think I've showed uh, the camper on my channel yet, but this is my custom built 24 foot toy hauler that I use to tow my Polaris out to go camping. Unfortunately, the 240 does not fit in here. <laughs> I wasn't drifting as much uh, when I built the camper, and if I was, I would have modified these cabinets to accept the uh, 240 in here as well. It would have been a huge help. So we're gonna have to drag the camper all the way down to Sandia Speedway and then come back and grab the car um, since I am flying solo for this trip. Um, but we're gonna get this thing up there, get it unloaded, go get some food and some beer, and we'll catch you guys there.